Now, last class, what we looked at is the day-to-day uh, -day design process in action, and we talked about this here. And what did that refer to? Right, the software development life cycle or program development life cycle. Now, I did mention to you that at, um, in different books and when you go to different websites and so on, that you will uh, come across it uh, worded slightly differently. But this is my interpretation here. Analysis, design, implementation, maintenance. These are the main parts of the life cycle. And what I did from here is I related this back now to database programming and database development. And after analysis, we're supposed to have an ER diagram. After design, we're supposed to have an RM diagram. And after implementation, we're supposed to have a relational database. Okay, now there's one thing missing from the analysis here that is actually mentioned in the book. And this is this part here. Problem specification. And I did mention to you that as part of this stage here, the output is the ER diagram. But what you also need is a concise specification of the problem. And I did say to you that um, it is beyond the scope of what we do here and I will be providing it for you. But this here is very, very important. You must be able to specify the problem. Now, the other thing that we need to bear in mind is this here is what we call the user's view. This here is the designer's view and this here is the actual database. So the ER diagram gives us the user's view of the data. The RM diagram gives us the designer's view. Now what you will find is that a lot of time you'll keep referring back to the user. Another term that I use interchangeably with the user is the client. Because while we can argue one way or the other, the, user, the client will be a user of the system. And it's important to see and to understand how they view their data. And what you get here with the problem specification and the ER diagram is a document that models the client's view or the user's view of their data. And what is also important here is that you get the data right. You get the model right. You ensure you correspond, you go back and forth, back and forth with the client, and you ensure that what you have documented in, in the form of the diagram or the specification is what the client wants, or is it is the way that the client's data actually is. Now, what we are actually going to do now is that we're going to use the different six steps to create the ER diagram, the RM diagram, and the relational database. Now, the six steps will only get us up to here because the six steps deal with the design aspect of it. But getting from here to here, like I said, is pretty simple. This is the hard part, getting the diagram. Because once you have a proper cross for diagram, there are actually Visio plugins that you can use to just take the Visio diagram and create an access database for you, one click. As long as you've done it, you've done it properly. If you have, you have an overview of the entire process. Now, I want you to bear this in mind always because this is the, the, the big picture. Or this is the framework that we, that we will be working from. Now, what we will do is that from time to time, we will focus in on this part here, which is just creating this diagram. Then we will focus in on creating this diagram here. And then we will focus in on creating the database. But this is the entire process, to go from there to there to create a relational database. That is what we're going to be doing.